keep diving into concrete so bittersweet Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Shantae's way here today, and as you guys can see, my hair is straight. I, I, I did my hair straight um, over the holidays, and I was not able to film it, which is pretty sad because I wanted to film it, but you know, I just got caught up with all the holiday stuff and it was actually done last minute. But I still wanted to do a video on my recent hair growth. This is a very old um, flat iron. I've had it since a little bit before Christmas. So it's pretty old. It's almost at its last limb, but I'm gonna try to keep this as long as I can. So I'm gonna be showing you guys little tips and trips, tricks of what I'm doing to actually make my straight hair last past the time that it's actually supposed to last. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of stuff with you guys um, over this these next couple of weeks, showing you guys exactly how I'm like keeping everything. So my hair actually has grown. My hair is actually now past tailbone length. It is actually down to my butt, so let me show you guys. It has a seated tailbone length, waist length. Um, I don't know what this will be. Is this butt length hair? Someone commented on my um, Instagram uh, picture and they were like, okay, so what happens when you pass waist length, toe length, <laughs> tailbone length, butt length? It's now enormous length. So I don't know, you guys can let me know down in the comment section. Is it like butt length? And this is close up. Okay guys, so as you see, my hair has grown so much. And I know you guys are probably like, okay, so how did your hair grow so fast? What did you do? Are you keeping secrets away from us? Um, I've been showing you guys my routines, especially here lately, a lot. And that's, that's actually what I do to my hair. I always allow my hair to kind of relax and let it kind of like do its thing. So a lot of the tips that I've been giving you guys over the years on my YouTube channel, I have been consistent with those tips. So what I tell you guys to do is what I actually do to my hair all the time. So just to refresh, I will give you guys my top three tips that I absolutely think that is very essential for hair growth and that has helped me as well. Um, and I'll let you guys know exactly what I've been doing. Number one, I wanted to remind you guys that back in the beginning of I think 2020 I'm actually going to check to see which date it was on my Instagram um, by the way you guys can follow me on my Instagram at Shantae's way on Instagram so, okay so I cannot find the actual post where I actually posted that um, I probably even deleted it because I delete a lot of my posts after a while I get tired of the way that like stuff looks so um, I had on my Instagram where I was like that my goal length was to be past tailbone length while curly um, and I said that that was like my goal uh, so of course I don't straighten my hair a lot I only straighten my hair like every two years or less so I don't straighten my hair a lot but I ended up making that like comments and I thought about it and I just now thought about it and I just realized that my hair has reached like my goal but it's still not wild curly because wild curly it still doesn't like reach my bottom but I really think that that's due to shrinkage of course your curls always look shorter than what your hair is most of the time so first tip I will give you guys to say the least, is to make sure that you're speaking kind of like good onto your hair routine. So I see people a lot um, on your hair journey. So I see people a lot in the comment section saying like, oh, like my hair is never gonna grow. I've been doing this, this and that and it's never happening for me. Oh well, for like people just speak really bad onto, I know it sounds crazy, but, but people speak really bad onto their hair journey and so most of the time when you think that way or you speak that way no matter if it's the smallest little thing like hair it's probably not going to happen for you so always like try to stay on the more positive side so that when you set your your goals and your 
you know, things that you want to happen for your hair or anything like that, it doesn't end up biting you in the butt because you decided to just be more of a negative person. Rather than actually speaking something that you actually want to happen, you talk more about the things that you don't want to happen for your hair. So I know this is a really, really crazy tip and I'm pretty sure no one else puts this in their hair growth tips videos, but I feel like that it's super important to stay positive about your hair about anything that you want so that you can actually reach your goals because if you don't then you're just going to get exactly what you have been saying which is like my hair isn't growing i'm never going to re reach this length um, it's definitely possible and i have not always been this length i will put clips in of my hair back when i first started youtube and my hair was very much shorter um so definitely this is not how long my hair has always been i've always had like stages and things like that so i'll insert clips of that here so i wanted to mention to you guys that eating very well absolutely helps your hair growth. If you eat a nice nutritious diet, then your hair is going to grow or it's uh, going to be very healthy. You're not going to have as much like problems out of it. It's not going to be brittle. It's not going to look lifeless because you're feeding yourself with nutrients. A lot of cultures that have super long hair, like the Native American culture, I've been studying a lot on their hair practices and the Native Americans believe that if you eat your nutrients, your hair will grow and they have long, long, thick hair. And there's a lot of other cultures that believe that as well. So make sure that you eat nutritious meals and you try to eat as good. You don't have to eat perfect. You don't have to eat like strict, strict, perfect, but at least have some type of care of where your food is coming from. And majority of the time, try to eat as good as possible. Um, like I said, you don't have to be super strict on yourself, but you, and you don't have to like, you know confine yourself to one thing but you do want to make sure that you are eating your fruits and vegetables eating good foods and taking better care of your internal health so that outwardly it can show as well third tip that i wanted to give you guys to oil your roots and also give yourself a scalp massage so i always say that if you Put oil, I stick by that. A lot of people know that oils help your hair to grow. And there are some people who don't use oils, but you can kind of look and see like which advice you wanna follow. I recommend that you use oils because oils do help your hair to grow. Make sure that you use oil mixes. Um, of course, you guys know that I use the Nourish by Chante Stimulating Scalp and Hair Oil because that is like the bomb.com oil it has been with me my entire journey i've been using it since 2014 um, and it really helps your hair to grow so that is one of the number one things that i have not changed the entire time i've been you know on my hair journey i've always used oils and i've always used that oil and i've always made sure that i was consistent i'm not as consistent anymore but when i first started my hair journey i was very consistent with scalp massages and i was just seeing growth so quickly i would even say that i've seen growth within two weeks of using my uh stimulating hair and scalp oil so that growth oil is like bomb it works so good and I can't recommend it enough. There's a lot of reviews on my website as well saying how amazing the oil is. So it really does yield results and you just have to be consistent. And if your hair doesn't grow within like a little bit of time, that doesn't mean that your hair is not growing. It just means that all of us have um, different time lengths of how, how quick or how fast our hair grows. So if you combine these three top three tips, then you will have results. And these are super simple, basic tips, which is why I put it in this video, because normally I go into great detail um, which I have those videos tagged down below, but I'll go into great detail on like products and things like that But I wanted to give you guys like the top three basic tips so that you can start following those tips first Since those are like the more foundation tips and then like you can get into like products and stuff later on I do want to make it known as a bonus tip. Do not use products that are don't care about your hair care your hair health um, There's a lot of products that are just made and they don't really go into 
I guess they don't research or they don't really go into depth on hair health. They're just putting products out. Make sure that you're using products that actually are coming from a great you know place when they're being made and kind of like research and things like that so you can know what you're actually putting in your hair so you're not just throwing things into your hair um, especially if you want your hair to be healthy and grow um, definitely focus on the actual products that you're using because that sometimes can be um, detrimental to your hair growth process and your hair journey in general i am very excited to see if my hair is going to actually revert once i wash it um so i will have to kind of like see where <laughs> what happens and let me know if you guys want to see a video on my hair reversing like if that is even fun to watch anymore since you know, it's kind of like an old school video, but I love doing that those type of videos where you watch the curls revert. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see a video like that. And let me know if you think that any other like baseline tips should be used when trying to grow your hair um, down in the comment section. Would you add anything to this list? I really do think that those are like the top three tips to use for me that will actually help with the hair growth like the base basic top tips so let me know down in the comment section if you would like to add anything to this video so thumbs up this video if you would like for me to do a more in-depth video on products and things like that i have a whole lot of videos on my channel already and i also uploaded a video talking about products that actually grow your hair so i'll have that linked as well and just let me know if you want to see a little bit more give me some video ideas down in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one bye